too bright. What's going on guys, it's Sab and this is The Bearded Point of View. So this week I've actually been mad busy just working on a project for a client of mine. So I haven't really had much time to work on content for this week, which means instead of working on a video a few days ahead, I'm actually just working on this like the day before my usual upload day. So this means if you're watching this today, it's more than likely to be late by a day or two. So instead of it being a Thursday, it's probably a Friday or a Saturday. But if I've managed to somehow pull it off and do it on the actual day of my upload, then... Anyways, I've been working on a web design project which is actually due to be finalised in the next two days and need it up and running by at least Friday night, Saturday morning. And it's for a small financial firm who are just looking for a simple and informative website without all the bells and whistles. So I don't know if it's just me, but whenever I'm doing a web design, I tend to get all of the hard and detailed pages done first, or I try to get them all done first. Now the reason for this is because I like getting the small bits done straight after that because when it comes to the testing phase it allows me to look at it with a fresh perspective. So I've done the hard pages first, all the detailed pages first, then I've gone into the easy pages which don't really have that much detail in them. So that allows me to go back to the hard pages first during testing in order to actually get a fresh perspective of everything. So I'm basically going in there with a fresh mind. Does that make sense? I don't know if anyone else does this. So if you are a web designer or a designer full stop and you do something similar to this, let me know. Leave a comment down below, not just for me, but for anyone else watching the video. At least it will help others and myself to get a good perspective of different people's working process. So right now I'm just working on small little tweaks for colors, fonts, and also tweaking the site a little bit for mobile and tablet devices. Once that's all done, I can actually start testing the site on different web browsers and common devices. So if I find a fault, I can make sure it's dealt with before I hand over the final version. Maybe not next week's video, but the week after and maybe a couple weeks after that, it's actually going to be videos about my getaway to Turkey. Greetings! So hopefully I can show you, or those of you who are interested, what I'm going to be packing in my camera or carry-on bag. They're both the same thing. So just because I'm flying out doesn't mean I'm not going to make any content for you guys or, or film anything while I'm there. Hopefully I film enough to make one or two videos. Obviously I need to edit them before I upload it when I get back. I know it wasn't much, but I hope you liked the video. Please hit the like and subscribe down there, or probably here. Leave a comment down below and I'll try and respond to you as soon as I can. Make sure you hit that notification bell down below, right next to the subscribe button and you'll be told of any new videos I release. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.